In my opinion, the best phaser is one that I can sync with a beat. I'll show you how I align my phases to different beat patterns using a two-step dimmer phaser. There are different approaches on how to do this, and I think it's important for me to say that this is a workflow that I've found that works for me right now. It heavily involves me helping you understand how I interpret the 1D phaser view. I recommend starting with the sheet view because it has everything you need on screen. The chart at the bottom is a one-dimensional representation of a single cycle of the phaser. Step one starts here, and this green line is the journey the step travels. Step two starts here and ends on the right. Confusingly, the completion of step two appears at the start of the blue grid. This is both the start and the end of a single phase cycle. In my example, the dimmer value is exactly the same on the left and the right of the blue grid. That's because this is the same moment in time. But I thought there were infinite timelines. We're not on any timeline, dummy. Look. Oh my, oh my God. God. So by adding the measure attribute, I can change how this grid is interpreted. By adding a measure of four, I have created four musical counts, beat one, two, three, and four. Because this is a cycle, the outer edges still represent the same moment in time. As soon as count one of the beat begins, I want my fixtures to snap to full. So I set the transition to zero, but only for that step. To visually represent the sound, I want the decay to start almost immediately after hearing count one. To do this, I need to edit the step one's width. I'm linking the encoder to the width of the dimmer attribute. Now I can manually move the completion of step one to a point closer in time to what I'm hearing. The next step for me is for the lights to decay following the transient of the sound. By changing the transition in step two to 45%, the lights are at zero by beat three, and we sit in the remaining width of step two until we restart the phase cycle. The beats per minute by default is 60. I've set up a metronome in a 4-4 time signature at 60 beats per minute. When I start the metronome, the phaser should hit at the beginning of every bar. But if I decide I want this phaser to hit on counts one and three, setting the measure to two reduces the number of counts per cycle down. Now working with two counts, the snap up lands on beats one and three. Or I can use a measure of one and hit on every count but even at 60 beats per minute, that phase cycle is now really fast and some lights are gonna have trouble keeping up with that. This is where I can change the alignment math for the transition. By using 10 through 45 as the transition value, the first fixture is using 10% of the width of step two, while the last fixture uses 45% of that same width. And for me, this is a better visual representation of the sound. To make this even fancier, Applying a new transition alignment range, this time using 10 through 45 through 10, and we should also try it with some music. I'm changing the beats per minute to 67, that way I can use this clip of a dinosaur playing the drums. 